This episode was supported by Curiosity Stream. Ninja Warrior is a game show where competitors try to complete four gruelling obstacle courses to achieve total victory. What I love about the show is that the obstacles are impossibly hard. Of the thousands of people that have entered both the original Japanese version and the American spin-off, only six people have ever successfully completed every stage. Some of this stuff is truly nuts, for the elite athlete only. So here's the challenge. To get a taste of how difficult this is, really, I want to attempt just one single obstacle from the show. The Salmon Ladder is a stage 2 obstacle, and it usually knocks out about one third of competitors who attempt it. You have to manipulate the bar up the ladder using upper body strength and this weird technique. Usually the goal is anywhere between 4 and 7 rungs and you're through to the next obstacle. So how long will it take an average bloke to conquer the Salmon Ladder? Let's say 7 rungs. Let's find out. This is day 1, hour 0. I've chosen to train at Primal Gym in Edinburgh, a top class obstacle course training facility that has a salmon ladder. By the way, if you want to give this stuff a try and you're in the area, this place is highly recommended. There's open sessions and there's also great coaching available too. So thanks to Primal Gym for letting me train and film here. So what you have to do is, you have to take this, this bar, do a pull up and then push the bar up and over onto the next rung. I've seen this happen where one end catches and the other end doesn't catch. I don't know what would happen. You'd kind of freak out if that happened. Or the whole thing just misses entirely and you just fall all the way down backwards onto the floor. That would be a pretty terrifying experience. I mean, what that, what's that, like 12, 13 feet up? <laughs> oh, that was impressive. That was horrible. <laughs> I got up to him and was like, I don't want to go up three. <laughs> Went for it. My first attempts at the salmon ladder didn't go too well. Turns out that people who do Ninja Warrior are actually a bit stronger than I thought I was. I can't let this beat me, but I'm totally done for today. My forearms and fingers are in agony, but for now it's defeated me. Okay, I have two major problems. One of them is strength and endurance. I just don't have what it takes to do that move seven times. I get tired and I fall off. The other major problem is my grip strength. The bar that is used on the salmon ladder is actually really, really thick. It's much thicker than a pull-up bar. And as a result, my hands get really, really tired as I go up the ladder and I end up falling off. I don't really know how to train for grip, but I have seen a video from The Rock where he uses a towel and does pull-ups on the towel to improve his grip strength. So I'm just gonna try that out. I'm looking to conquer the salmon ladder as quickly as possible with the least number of training sessions, so I'm going to push it really hard today. <sighs> Tell you what, that is absolutely brutal. I do feel like I do an awful lot of pull-ups on this channel.
I'm already noticing quite a big improvement from the last training session, particularly when I'm training with the towel. My grip is much, much better. So I'm deliberately training on this really, really big football goal because it's so chunky, my hands can't fit all the way around. Normally on a pull-up bar, my hands are in that position. Here, they're kind of like this. This makes pull-ups really, really difficult. You really start to lose grip strength very quickly, and that's exactly what I'm training for, grip strength. After two hard strength building sessions, I was feeling confident and returned to the gym. Only to discover that there was no improvement. Right in the noggin! <laughs> I was like, can I try and correct this? Sorry, Callum's giving us a hand and I'm too short to go up and get the bars. <laughs> With no noticeable benefit from my training method, I decided to change absolutely nothing and simply carry on. I've already got what I wanted out of this project, which was to gain a better appreciation of how difficult Ninja Warrior really is. It's hard. This is how hard I've been training for just one obstacle. I can't imagine doing four entire courses with the cameras and the lights and the audience and the pressure. Ninja Warrior is something else. really starting to notice results now, particularly with the grip strength. It's way, way better than it was. Having felt that my grip strength had improved, I gave the salmon ladder another go, attempting to get seven rungs up the ladder. A few days off, a little bit of strength tra training earlier on, like a week between training sessions. I could feel that I was strong today. No problem. Fantastic. <laughs> right, now I need to get that down. If you guys enjoy documentaries as I do, then you should check out Curiosity Stream. It's a streaming service dedicated to documentaries and non-fiction, and it has thousands upon thousands of hours of top quality content spanning science, nature, history, technology, and it has some really great exclusive originals. And this is proper top-notch stuff too. Shows from David Attenborough, Stephen Hawking. Derek from Veritasium has a really good series all about the internet, hacking, and cybercrime. Coupled with the huge selection on CuriosityStream is the ability to watch on smart TVs, Roku, Xbox One, iOS, Chromecast, Amazon Fire, Amazon Kindle and Apple TV. I really like the iPad app, it's snappy and I can watch from where I left off, but best of all you can download documentaries to watch offline. Nothing passes the time more on a cramped flight than 4 hours of David Attenborough. 
Look at these freaking ants going head to head with cows. They're spraying acid in their faces as a defense mechanism. You can get unlimited access from, and I had to double check this, just $2.99 per month. However, I can even do you one better since Curiosity Stream sponsored the show. You can get one month for free. Just go to curiositystream.com forward slash LearnQuick and use the code LearnQuick. By checking out Curiosity Stream and using the code, you'll be helping support the show. So go check them out. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.